Google just announced Gemini 2.0 a couple of days ago, and while it's still experimental, I decided to try it out and push its boundaries as they claim twice speed compared to 1.5 Pro, and I'm particularly interested in the new live multimodal stream. That means Gemini can see in real time my screen, my video camera, hear my voice, the code that I'm writing, and even a special understanding, and given all of those inputs, help me with what I'm asking. Here we are in Google AI Studio and let's try it out this new feature from Gemini 2.0 and I have AppSmith open because I'm going to play the role of a person who have never built an AppSmith app before. So we're going to share our screen with Gemini, it's going to start seeing everything that we got here and see if it actually helps us to build our first app. So let me share my screen and start doing that. Hey Google, do you see my screen? Yes, I see your screen. It looks like you're on the AppSmith website and you're in a workspace called Kevin Workspace and there are no applications in it. That is true. So basically this is an AppSmith platform to build applications using a low code uh, uh, approach. And I really need you to help me build my first app because I'm completely new to this. Okay, I understand you're new to AppSmith and want help building your first app. I can assist you with that. What kind of app are you thinking about building? Yeah, so I was planning to do something very simple. I have this JSON placeholder API, which basically gets me a list of to-dos. So since this is my first app, maybe we can build an app that displays those to-dos and then we can deploy it out. Okay, I see. You want to build an app that fetches to-do items from a JSON placeholder API and displays them. That sounds like a great first project, and I can help you with that. I also see the JSON placeholder website you are referring to. Do you want to start building your application now? Yeah, yeah, let's start right away. What should I do here? Okay, to get started, click on the Create New button at the top right of the screen. It is an orange button. Yep, and now I guess I click on Application. That is correct. Go ahead and click on Application. Okay, so this is kind of new to me. It looks like a little bit overwhelming. What is what I'm looking at right now? Yes, I can see how it might look overwhelming at first. This is the AppSmith application editor. On the left side, you have a list of UI elements you can drag and drop onto the canvas in the middle of the screen where it says, drag and drop a widget here. These are elements like tables, text inputs, and buttons that you can use to build your app interface. On the top, you see options for queries, JS and UI, to edit your code, create queries to external data sources, and configure the user interface. Does this help? Yeah, totally helps. So what should I do to start building my app? Okay, let's start by adding a table widget to the canvas. It's located in the suggested section on the left side. Go ahead and click and drag that table widget over to the center of the canvas area where it says drag and drop a widget here. Yep, just did that. I just drag and drop the table widget. And now what can we do? Okay. Now we need to connect the table to the data from the JSON placeholder API. On the right side under data, click on the button that says connect data. Okay, I just click on connect data and it says choose data source to connect, sample movies, sample users, or connect to a new data source. What should I pick here? Okay, since you are going to use an external API, click on connect new data source to connect to that API. Perfect. So I see all of the data sources here now. Which option should I pick? Since you are connecting to the JSON placeholder API, you will want to select the REST API option located under Most Popular or APIs. Perfect. So I just click there and this UI seems a little bit familiar to me because it looks like an app I've used before to call APIs, but it's still, can you help me build out this, this API request? Yes, I can certainly help you with that. Now that you've selected REST API, you'll need to configure the API request. Please click on the REST API button and I will continue to guide you. Okay, so here is the, the API that I want to pull from the data. Uh, so I guess I should copy it and wh where should I put it here? Yes, you are correct. Copy the URL from the JSON placeholder website. Then go back to the AppSmith application editor and paste the URL in the GAT field that you see right there. Okay, so there you go. Should I run this query or, or what should I do next? Yes, go ahead and click the run button. 
This will execute the API request, and you should see the data in the response section below the settings. Awesome. Yeah, I see the response. Uh, I can see the, the data from the API. So how, how do I connect this to my UI now? Excellent. Now that you have the data from the API, you can connect it to the table. Click on the table widget on the canvas, then under Data, click on the drop-down under Table Data, and select ap1.data. Okay, so I came back to the UI, I click on Connect Data, and I see the API 1, and boom! Yeah, I can see the data over there in the table widget, that's awesome! Awesome, it looks like you have successfully connected the API to your table widget. Is there anything else I can help you with? Yeah, maybe I'd like the title of uh, each of the to-dos to be first in the table, not the user ID column. And then I'd like to make the title in the table to be bold. Okay, I can help with that. To reorder the columns, in the columns section on the right side, click and drag the title column to the first position. And to make the title bold, click on columns, then click on the title column configuration and set the bold text property to true. Okay, let me try that out. So I guess I can, oh, there you go, drag and drop the title to the first position and now on the settings. And let me see if I can find something here to make it bold. Oh, where should it go to make it bold? I don't see anything around that. Okay, I understand. To make the title bold, you'll need to go to the style tab at the top of the right hand panel. There, you'll find formatting options, including font weight. Change it to bold there. Awesome. Yeah, I, I, I missed the style button, so I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And now bold. This is perfect. I just, I was able to do what you just said. Awesome. It looks like your table is set up exactly as you wanted. Is there anything else you would like to adjust or add to your app at this time? Yeah, I'd like to deploy it so I can share this app with my friends. Okay, I can help with that. To deploy your application, click on the Deploy button at the top right of the screen. Awesome, so I just deployed the app. I guess that by just copying and pasting the, the URL, I can share that with my friends. Yeah, or is there another way to share this app? Yes, that is correct. You can share the app with your friends by copying and pasting the URL. Or alternatively, you can click on the share icon, which is located at the top right of the screen, to get a shareable link. Oh, this is nice. I didn't saw that share button. Thank you for highlighting this. I'm going to copy the URL here. And uh, oh, I guess I have to make the application public uh, in case I want to share with people on the outside, right? That's correct. You need to make the application public to share it with people outside your workspace. Once you do that, you can copy and share the application's URL. Thank you so much, Gemini. You totally rock. You're very welcome. I'm glad I could assist you. Don't hesitate to ask if you need further help. So, what do you think? To me, it's pretty freaking mind-blowing. The fact that this is right now experimental, just launched two days ago, and it's capable of doing all of these things we just saw. Try it out, and let me know in the comments what do you think. See you in the next one.